Hello again, everyone. It's flipping crazy. Here to show you my estate sale haul. It was crazy there. Um, I got there an hour after they started. I was actually heading on my way to the store and um, set a state sale. And there were tons of big boxes just filled with stuff in the yard all spread out. And there were cars lined up and down the street like you wouldn't believe. I had to wait my turn to go through some boxes. I managed to get some stuff. Um, some people got awesome vintage computers and Commodore stuff and... Uh, Real to real players. Um, I got like 25 records there, rock records. I got Vampire Player's Guide from a uh, source book for Vampire the Masquerade. This is a Bell System tape measure, an old one. So that's pretty cool. I got some portable CD players, a Midland weather radio, an R2 Dito. R2-D2 that takes batteries. He does something. Is, he's got a little light in the top. Some of this stuff's modern and some of this stuff's vintage. There's a big mix of stuff. That's why I had so much t uh, fun going there. I was there for a while going through the boxes. Uh, Cloisonne Bell. This is a old Listerine bottle. I'm not going to show you everything. Just some highlights. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It felt really good being out there. This is a Uniden 40 channel full power two way citizen band emergency radio. And it locks in here. And basically, that's what it looks like. And it's got the antenna in there and a uh, car adapter, car power adapter. This lipstick holder is really cool. Really cool looking. Fancy schmancy. A Guinness light switch cover. I have a talking Barney. Um, this is a Magic the Gathering uh, fabric poster from 2015 from the base set. This is a little miniature tray with miniature silverware on it. I mean, tiny. This is a lens, which, uh, I don't know. It's good for checking out stuff. It's pretty, pretty darn heavy. This is an old calculator. It's hard to do stuff with one hand. I'm going to put you down for a second. Ugh, there we go. I'll take that out of there. And it is a Data King. Old Data King calculator. Uh, old pin cushion. Like I said, Barney. Got a uh, Rainbow Bright cup. An original Rubik's Cube. Pretty cool. Some cassettes. Some uh, metal and rock cassettes. Got a sealed um, Ramones documentary DVD. I got some uh, VHSs. A couple VHSs. Some rock and roll VHSs. It's so funny, everybody had their own piles and everybody was watching their piles while they were going through stuff to make sure nobody was touching their stuff. I had to do a couple times, like, no, that's my pile. I got some CDs. Um, some remote controls. This is parts to a Tama um, drum pedal. So I got, I don't know what else is missing, but somebody might be interested in those pieces, those components. This is a little guitar-shaped patent leather purse. Got an old Power Rangers wallet. It's a little cleaning. I got a PlayStation remote uh, uh, controller. Sorry. Nice large crucifix the box it was crazy the guy was selling the stuff like super cheap he just wanted to get rid of the stuff and I wish I was there an hour before I have FOMO which is a uh, fear of missing out this is the complete first season of Tales from the Crypt DVD set um, Kiss Extreme close-up VHS uh, Marilyn Manson book I mean, you name it, 
this also this was so fun for me believe me uh alice cooper vhs have pc games star wars the best of pc star wars battlefront pc cd rom short circuit beauty and the beast um some kind of i think it's punk some kind of punk group um this is a cobra handheld it doesn't have the antenna on it though but it does have the plug-in adapter nighthawk carbon monoxide detector like some things are practical things not not exactly collectible things um these are two backstage passes they weren't eat they're the sticky stuff still on the back from rick springfield world tour from 1984 backstage that was cool um this is a sony thing for you know the the memory cards here's a ticket for what is that center grandstand 1984 something i don't know um then there's a pair of tickets from the the uh romantics from 1984 that's pretty cool if anybody remembers these they were chewing gum but they were shaped like record albums chew bops so i grabbed that i have some minecraft things i have this cool jar um it's got that little angled piece in it i think it's for ink for doing ink shafers probably for the ink but you see that piece of glass in there I'm sorry if I'm going too fast for some of you guys, but um, sometimes my hauls take a while and I just don't want everybody to lose interest. I have the Doors VHS, Ozzy Osbourne VHS. I uh, have all these rubber stamps that aren't used. I have a Disney Store, Eeyore Graduation, Highland Queen of Scots, Vintage Liquor... Uh, collectible ashtray i have a a door lock i have an old um batmobile that really needs a lot of help but it's still cool to have for my collection a pipe that's got some kind of writing on the bottom so i'll have to research that a vintage van digital audio tape I think that's a brand new seal uh vhs c seal another van this one's pretty neat like an ice cream van um this cute little trinket box and when you open it up get it open here there's this little porcelain little porcelain uh pantyhose it in there so that's kind of cute um i think that's some kind of punk or something the lead burn this record another vhsc sealed uh this is a try to get it open here this is a portable fish finder pretty cool I have a vintage kazoo. Uh, this is some kind of power pack to something. These are miniature pewter or lead figures. This is a cry dome. What is this? Solid state relay. Sometimes people look for them. These are beautiful Art Nouveau picture frames. From the 20s they're pewter i love this one i don't think it's going anywhere this one might but this one's not going anywhere um this is some kind of tool oh they had tools and dies they had different cartridges for sewing machines but i didn't want to get into all that uh what does this say this is
Lufkin Telescope Engage. Uh, this old Pluto figure. Disney. Uh, FAO Schwartz Bear Keychain with the tags. Um, this tire. Watch. Key fob. Um, these little record things. I think it's from that little train that would go around and play the music. Um, Barney. He's musical or something. He's got some kind of mechanism inside of him that I, uh, I'm going to see if I could change the batteries in. I got two, uh, two old turtle figures. I got an E.T. little spaceship. And when you look through it, um, when you look through it in there and you push this little thing down here, it's like a little view master inside. This is a metal Easter tin will go great for my booth um i have a bunch of thai attic treasure all different kinds of bears and i think i have a lion and a couple other odd animals there i think that's bebop from barney uh have some brighton tins with some jewelry a little bit of jewelry in them um this is a fake hand and you put um use it to put nails on to, to, to practice but i think i'm going to put it use it to, for holding jewelry i think it'd be a cool display this is awesome this is made by kirkerland not not kirkland but or kickerland and it is a sugar skull wine bottle opener and this is the rib cage and then these are the arms how cool is that yeah, I had to grab that. And not much jewelry. They didn't have much jewelry. I got two Brighton tins. I got this really pretty pin. Whoopsie. I got this really pretty pin. It is marked on the back, but it is a symbol, so I have to look it up. Uh, I did get one pair of Brighton earrings. There is one pair of Brighton earrings in there. And a whole bunch of other ones. There's some Monet's and stuff in there. So I got that. Um, this is from a car. From a parking lamp. I, I have clear ones um, from my 58 Buick. But this, this one's red. And I wish they had a second one. Because I would switch them out in my car. Uh, Samsung tablet. That's got a crack on it. I know nothing about this stuff, but I grabbed it for a buck. Can't go wrong. Here's a metal teapot, and it's all enamel over the metal, and it's ladybugs. It's very cute. I grabbed this. I don't know what it is, but it was worth a shot. I just grabbed it for the heck of it. Um, this is an eye, eye something watch. on it um let me put this down for a second and i'll get the back off and see if we can read it and it says where is it at it says i i touch it's i touch I'm trying to get that to show you without I touch so I got that um, this pretty inlaid wood box it's gorgeous gorgeous work on it um, this little metal shoe I don't know what kind of metal it is I got another remote I got a bag of Pins that you put pictures in. I got an old cookbook. This is cool. It's not, it's a yardstick, but it's 
you can fold it up so it's not like one of those long yard sticks that warp so that's cool I like that this bottle opener with the dice on it it's pretty fancy all right uh german town sesquin sesquis sesquicentennial cookbook those are always good to have i got this cool old friction powered dune buggy still in the box that's super cool made in hong kong jimson so that's neat no barcode i just got the box to this i was hoping while i was there i would find the the calculator to it texas instruments electronic calculator ti 1500 um the cool thing about this let me get it open with one hand i have to learn to master that it's empty but the cool thing it has the original receipt from the International Calculator Center and uh, from 1978 and they paid $5. So I just like having that for the nostalgia reasons. I got a Star Hunter, the complete series on DVD. I got a couple Wii games. I got a PlayStation 2 game. I got a wireless repeat router. I got the bird from Aladdin. Another tie. An original Cabbage Patch outfit on the original Cabbage Patch hanger. a airflow technology little fan and it has fan heat and cool on it and it's got a little remote to it so like i said some stuff's newer some stuff's older it was just a really interesting mix and this is so cool oh i just knocked down everything this is a rolodex electronic organizer so i have all my uh contacts and everything written on the paper rolodex file this one's electronic so that should be fun so basically that's it in a nutshell um all these bears these different kind of bears and bunnies and mostly attic treasures i'll just bring them to my booth and blow them out for a couple bucks a piece um a little wizard one he's kind of cute little orangutan or something so that's all the stuff that I got, guys. I hope you liked it. I went as fast as I could. And if you have any questions or interested in anything, please let me know. Send me an email or let me know in the comments section. I really appreciate it. And um, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye, guys. Remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and set it to all. Thank you, guys. Bye.